Hey there, tire enthusiasts. Get ready to dive into the fascinating world of the Michelin Man, the brand icon that will both charm and terrify you. Back in 1894, the Michelin brothers, André and Edouard, founded the Michelin Tire Company in France. And let me tell you, they were determined to create a brand identity that would stand out from the crowd. It all started when the brothers attended the Universal and Colonial Exposition in Lyon. They stumbled upon a stack of tires that sparked an idea in Edward's mind. He saw the figure of a man without arms, made entirely out of tires. Talk about a unique vision. Fast forward four years, and André meets a French cartoonist named Marius Rosselin, also known as Agalop. Agalop shows André a rejected image he had created for a Munich brewery, a regal figure holding a giant glass of beer. André immediately suggests replacing the man with a figure made from tires, and Agalop brings the Michelin Man to life. But here's where things get interesting. The Michelin Man wasn't just a static graphic representation. Oh no, he evolved into a three-dimensional figure with a personality of his own. And let me tell you, during his early years, he left an indelible impression on everyone's minds. Lucky for us, we have some vintage photographs that offer a mesmerizing glimpse into the origin and evolution of this iconic symbol. Trust me, these photos will give you chills. One of the most haunting images is a horse-drawn advertising carriage from 1911. The two Michelin men, made entirely out of tires, look like they materialized straight out of a nightmare. It's hard to believe that something so terrifying could become such a beloved brand icon. Did you know that rubber tires used to be gray-white or light beige? It wasn't until 1912 that they became black when carbon was added to them. And guess what? The Michelin man's color changed too. The company decided to make him black to match the tires. But don't worry, it had nothing to do with racial concerns, as some might think. The Michelin man's plump figure has even become a way to describe an obese person or someone wearing bulky clothing. I mean, who hasn't said, I don't want to look like the Michelin Man in this winter coat. As the years went by, the Michelin Man's shape and persona continued to evolve. From wearing pince-nez glasses and smoking a cigar to running and rolling a tire, he adapted to the changing times. In 1998, on his 100th anniversary, a slimmed-down version of him was introduced, reflecting the smaller tires of modern cars. But the Michelin Man's influence doesn't stop there. He has even made appearances in American television ads, with a cute puppy by his side. Talk about staying relevant. Looking ahead, the Michelin Man will continue to hold a significant place in the world of brand icons. As technology advances and new avenues for visual storytelling emerge, he will adapt and evolve while preserving his distinctive essence. So whether you're a tire enthusiast or just curious about the history of iconic brand symbols, this video is a must-watch. Get ready to be captivated by the vintage and terrifying photos of the original Michelin Man trust me, you won't be able to look away. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up if you're as fascinated by the Michelin Man as I am. Let's dive into the captivating world of vintage tire terror together.